What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. This is uh, officially part four, or round four, of our Champions Path Elite Trader Box unboxing. You guys, I am on the hunt for a shiny Charizard. I mean, I can't, uh, or a Hyper Rare, whatever. I'm not picky, I'm just on the hunt for a Charizard, honestly, and uh, I'm, I'm at it again. So, I'll be honest, in the past like two months, I don't even know how many of these Elite Trainer boxes I've purchased, but I was able to get uh, some decent deals on eBay. I think this probably cost around 75 or $80, which to me is a good deal, um, free shipping. And so we're gonna go ahead and open this up today in hopes that we will get some kind of cool Charizard card. Now, I a lot of people have been talking about this set because you can't get um, like booster boxes of this set and so there's some websites that actually sell right now you can buy 36 booster packs for anywhere from like 230 to 250 dollars the 230 is actually a pretty good deal um, I think in general that makes it come out to be about so if it was um, 250 dollars divided by 36 that's about Whoa, 250 divided by 36. That's about $6.94 a pack, which sounds about right. Um, usually when you buy packs, if you want to just buy like single packs, it's around seven to eight dollars. If you buy them during breaks for a lot of the YouTubers are doing like booster breaks, they're charging around ten dollars a pack. Now if you can get uh, 36 booster packs for $230, which I've only seen a few times, that drops it down to six dollars and thirty eight cents. So not not anything crazy, but people were like, don't do it because then people would pack. So now I'm interested this is going to be a two-pronged thing, right? We're going to open this to try to get a Charizard, but I'm also interested, sorry, I, I just realized I opened my window shades and it's creating some pretty intense glare. Um, I wanted to try out, because every pack in Champion's Path has some kind of rare card in regards to a Hollow or um, a VMAX or a V card. Everything has something in it, at least one thing. Usually they're just like uh, Hollow rares. But I actually brought up my mailing scale because now I'm interested just for funsies. This is not anything I would ever do. Um, everyone always just talks about people weighing packs and I'm like, do people really do that? Is that really a thing? I know it's a thing. I just like, how many people really do that? So what I want to do is I want to open this box up and there's going to be 10 booster packs in it. And then I want to weigh each one and just see if they each come out to be the same weight. Obviously, if they're the same weight, then it's a moot point, right? It doesn't matter. But if they're not, then that would be interesting because then that would really tell me don't ever buy loose packs like that because they really could be weighed. And then, you know, your chances of getting something really good are slim. So, okay, enough chit chat. Let's go ahead. Actually, three minutes of chit chat isn't that much for me. So I'm pat myself on the back right there. Let me go ahead and set up my secondary camera and we can go ahead and get this party started. I've been realizing lately, I, first of all, I got a haircut. I don't know if anyone, well, I, I posted on Instagram, but I also have like, in general, I think I have a calic right here and it really, really is just exemplified in a lot of my videos if I don't do my hair properly, so. There's that. Okay, here we go. So we have our Champions Path Daily Trainer Box. Here's our scale. I'll have to move this while we're weighing the packs. Um, but until we do that, let's go ahead and open this box up. And uh, I'm not gonna go through all of the things in the box because I've done that three times already on my channel, but you can check out my previous Elite Trainer boxes or videos that I did for this box. I'll try to remember to link them in the little corner and you can try it out. I mean, spoiler alert, we haven't gotten a Charizard yet, so maybe that made it so you don't, whoop, made it so you don't want to watch it. Okay, so here's our Elite Trainer box. I'm just going to go ahead and pull all this stuff out. We're going to open up the box, Let's pull this sorter out, and we're just going to take our, this is 10 packs. It doesn't look like 10 packs. Five, five, five. okay. So and we're going to set everything else off to the side. So... We have our 10 Champions Path Booster Packs. Um, again, I haven't been lucky. I'll be honest, I actually just bought on eBay some pin packs. I haven't been able to find them in the stores, but I feel like the chances of getting like good pulls from the pin packs are also are actually a little bit better than in the booster box. So here is our thing. My cord only goes so far, I'm sorry, because um, I only had one extension cord available in my house, and so, oh, this is as far as this thing will go. 
So let's see if I can make this a thing for you guys. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take our 10 packs. I don't even know how much a, a booster pack of cards is supposed to weigh, but in theory they should all weigh the same because they all have something in it and I think they didn't do the different ways for code cards, right? I don't know. What does that say? I can't even read this. Oh, that's in pounds. Let's do grams or ounces. Grams? Grams. Let's do grams. Okay, I can't get this thing to stand up. Maybe if I prop it up a little bit like this. How's that? Okay, so this pack of cards is 24 grams. I don't know how accurate these scales are. I got this one on Amazon. Oh, but it said 24 twice, so 24 grams. Is this one 24 grams? Oh, oh, Cube, you're gonna mess this up. Wait, it is 24, is it 24 grams? Wait, Cube, hold on, hold on, Cube. No, 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 Cube, uh, Cube. Okay, Cube, uh, you guys. Okay, wait, let's try that one more time. Okay, 24, so maybe this is like a thing where it just everything is 24 grams? Oh, that one says 22. Oh, how much is Cube weigh? Excuse me, Cube. I'm really busy. Cube, I'm busy. Cube. Busy. Cube, I'm busy. Cube. Cube. I don't know. I don't even know how much it's reading. This guy. Cube. Wait, can I just at least weigh the packs really quick and then... He's trying to get my tripod. And then you can come back up here, please. Please. Please, Cube. This is what it comes down to. I have to barter with my cat. Um, Mac never was like this when I filmed. Do you guys want to see what happens when I try to kiss his stomach? Watch this. Watch this. Okay, watch this. Oh, wait. He let me do it. Well, that was so nice of you, Cube. Thank you. Maybe I just caught him at a bad time last time. Okay. Sorry. I know you guys are not here for kitten videos, so let me get my cat out of here. Hold on one second. Oh, he's going to hate this. I know, I know, I know. Oh, gosh. Don't break my scale. Cube. Just really quick. Just let me do this really quick, Cube. Okay, okay. Let's do this really quick. So this pack, oh, now it's saying 24. So maybe they are all 24. Uh, that one says 22. It's hard to tell. Um, uh, uh. Okay, let's put that one to the side. That one, I think, might be 22. That one says 22 as well. Maybe my scale's broken. Oh, 26? No, 22. Hmm. There's clearly some error with this give and take 24. I'll put that in the 24 pile. 22? 26, 24. Hmm. So you must have to have like a really, I think this one's 22 too. Uh, you must have to have a really, really good like scale that really like, oh, 24, that really like is correct, I guess. 24. Okay, so, so far, these are the 24s and these are the 22s. Let's go ahead and put these on the scale one more time just to, just to double check. It doesn't hurt. 22. 22. 22. Oh, that one says 24. Hold on. Let's set that one to the side. Oh, no, that one says 24 too. Let's see. 24. Oh, 22. Oh man, I feel like you could do this forever and just, it just be like, who knows? That one says 24 again. Okay, so I'm going to say these three are 22. This is 24. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is crazy. Oh, that one's saying 22. Oh, mm, this one's unknown. That one's saying 22 now. What is the weight of these supposed to be? Does it matter where it is on the scale? Maybe, oh, maybe it matters where it is on this. Oh, I know there's like a thing that you can like open this thing up, I think. Oh, maybe I should just be consistent and weigh everything right here. Ow, ow, heartburn. 22. 22, uh-oh. Maybe everything is just 22. Maybe all of these are just 22. That one says 20. This seems even less 
This, this thing seems even less accurate now when you open it. 20, 24, okay. Well, here's the thing guys, I don't really know. And this was just an experiment to test it out because I'm just kind of interested in seeing, maybe I just have to make sure I put everything like in the exact same place, you know, to be fair. Maybe these were these are all just gonna say 24 now. If I just do it, no, nope, that one still says 22. Whoops. If I just do it like in the middle, 22, 24. This must drive people crazy. Do people actually do this? Like, I would go nuts if I had to do this all the time. But what we have learned here is that. The packs of cards are, they range basically from 22 to 24 grams. And so, I don't know, I guess I, that's kind of, I guess good to know. I don't know if that's a normal thing. I, also my scale could just be janky. That one says 20. Okay, well, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's turn that off. I have these packs which may weigh 24 grams. <laughs> And then I have these packs, which weigh May 22 grams, which this would make more sense to me because that's six and then maybe potentially four pools. So I guess let's just try it out and see. Um, again, this is not at all something that I plan to do in my life moving forward, but it was just a, an experiment because I've heard so many people talking about weighing packs and everything. So let's go ahead and we'll open these uh, six packs first and really see if these maybe will just give us a hollow, a regular hollow, or if they give us anything good, then we know that our our experiment's dumb and doesn't work. So, all right, pack number one. I, I almost got excited because I was like, ooh, white code card, but they think they all have white code cards. Here's the thing, I usually give out code cards, but I am working on trying to sell things, and I think one of the things I wanna try to sell is code cards, so I'm gonna save that to the side for now. Energy road and bike trainer. All right, let's do this. Now this set has a ton of trainers because it's such a small set. Um, so again, this was a 22 gram pack. So our reverse haul is a Pokemon Center Lady and we got a Galarian Obstagoon. Okay, here's another, I think what I believe to be, ugh, the trick that I learned recently doesn't work. Um, I feel like this is ruining the cards. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I forgot what I was saying. Okay. So white code card again. I think, again, they all have white code cards. Okay, let's check this out. Teeny, Galarian, Lanoon, Scraggy, Roly Coley, Nicket, Ekans. We have a reverse hollow Hatterene, which is Actually pretty cool, that's a um, rare card. And we have a Lycan Rock, hollow rare. Okay, well, so far, I feel like our experiment is kind of working for the most part. I think that the 22 gram, well, let's not talk too soon, but the 22 gram cards are giving us regular hollows. So, I don't know, we'll see. Man, if this is really a thing, I'm definitely not going to ever buy any individual single packs from anybody. I would just make sure, for these ones at least, I would just make sure that they came out of an Elite Trainer box or the Pin Collection box. I mean, those are the only places you can get them from. Uh, we got a Reverse Hollow Galarian Obstagoon. Okay. Womp, womp, womp. So, no, this is cool. I'm glad we got the Dreadnought V card. Um, it's cool that we got this. I'm sad because I feel like we just... Uh, proved my theory wrong. Although there was some error in regards to the weighing of the cards, but um, so I'm, I'm two for three right now with my weighed packs. Now, I don't know, like, again, I don't know weights of each of the cards too. So maybe like V cards, maybe these packs will all have either V cards or um, just hollow rares. And then the other ones will have something better. I love things like this. I love like trial and error experiments. It just makes me so excited because you're testing theories. I love testing theories, like coming up with a theory and then trying to see if it's true or not. I'm, but I dislike science just in case you're wondering. Okay. Got a reverse hollow Malamar and a reverse, I mean a regular rare, um, 
Zygarde. So three for four, I'm gonna say, so far in this, in our calling of the weight. Now, I can imagine, this is the one reason I would never wanna do something like this all the time is because it makes it not as much fun. Although, like, for me, I'm having fun right now because I'm trying to test a theory, but I think if I wasn't, like, actually tracking the results or anything anywhere and I was just doing this to make sure I got something good it probably wouldn't be as fun for me because then I, I you know you know what you're you know you're gonna get something or whatever but I do like testing the theory I'm a fan of this we got a, a reverse hollow pierce okay hmm and we got a grab lock v card this is cool I'm getting a lot of v cards that I I did not get in previous videos so I'm excited about that okay so we got two v cards out of the potentially 22 gram packs ish. I'm surprised none of these packs ended up being 23 grams. Do grams only go in even numbers or something? I can't imagine that's the case. That can't be the case. One, two, three, four. Okay, so last 22 pack, we are, uh, what are we? Uh, three for five right now? Three for five, yeah. Okay, I'm like excited to see what this is. Okay, we got a reverse holo nicket and um, a holo rare machamp. Okay, so four for six. Four for six, technically in this unpacking, we got holo rares, which is what I thought we were gonna get. Now maybe, it'll be interesting to open these four packs and see if there's anything better because maybe the V cards are very similar in weight to the holo rares, that could be a thing. And so they're considered, because a lot of people don't consider V cards like anything that much more special than holo rares. Although I feel like, especially when you know you're gonna get something in every pack, the value of the holo rares and the probably the V cards goes down. Okay, so we have our four packs that I believe weighed 24 grams. This is so weird. This pack doesn't even seem that heavy. I don't know if I could actually tell with my human hands. Okay, here we go. You guys ready to test the theory? So we're officially zero for zero. Uh, four for six in the uh, 22 gram weight. Let's see how we did with the 24 gram weight and see if these are really that different. Okay. I'm kind of excited, you guys. Are you excited? I'm pretty excited. I probably should be writing this stuff down. Luckily, I'm recording it, and so it'll be in the history forever in my videos. We got a reverse hollow machoke, and then our rare card is... <gasps> Oh, this kind of sucks. I'll be honest. I'm kind of sad. I already got this card in a different Elite Trainer box. And the reason I'm sad is because I'm pretty sure you can only get one, um, like, really special card a box. And so this would be the special card. And we would, in theory, not get a Charizard card because of that. But I'm one for one now in our, in our weight. So let's see. Maybe there's, like... Do you think that maybe there's like VMAX cards in these four? I don't think I would get four VMAX cards. That seems like too many in, in an Elite Trainer box, especially with that um, Secret Rare. But let's go ahead and just check it out anyways. All right. I'm gonna... <laughs> I don't think this is anything crazy. So we got a Reverse Hollow Rolly Coley Ends. Oh, Theory. <sighs> okay, so I'm one for two. I'm one for two, and that might just be because, of course, my scale seemed to be kind of fluctuating, so maybe my scale just isn't as exact as it needs to be. Darn, that makes me sad. One for two. I should have known, though, because the fact of potentially getting four pulls, I think my thought process was that we were going to get six hollow rares and then four, like, V, V Max, hyper rares, special cards, whatever, secret rares, um... So I'm one for two in this one. Again, oh, I just like licked my fingers like I was gonna, what am I doing? Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see if this is just gonna be another hollow rare card. Okay, so our reverse hollow is a suspicious food tin. Oh, uh, no! Okay, my theories are getting debunked right now. So I'm, I'm one for three. Let's see if I can at least get half. Let's see if I can half seize this. I guess it doesn't really matter because if the if you can get a 24 gram card and you're gonna get a uh, just a hollow rare, then what? Then how would you even know? Again, it could just be my scale though. I have a feeling it might have something to do with my scale. Swablu, Machop, Glaring Zigazoon, 
ziz, yeah, zigzagoon, zig, what? Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon. Okay, we got a reverse hollow Altaria, and our rare card is. Oh my gosh, a professor's research. This was a really bad box, you guys. I mean, I'm thankful for the suspicious food tin. I think that's a, a cool card to pull. I'm not as excited because I've already pulled it. But then, man, we didn't even get any VMAX cards. We just got two V cards. So that's kind of a little bit disappointing. I don't remember, honestly, especially now that I've opened up a, like a couple booster boxes. I'm having trouble remembering what the pull rates usually are for this. But okay. Well, that was my video. I guess my theory, I would say, is not correct. Because, I mean... Technically, okay, wait, wait a second. It's not not correct. I think that my scale is a little bit janky, but we got the two V cards from what we thought was 22 gram packs. The Suspicious Futin did come out of a 24 gram pack, but so did some random like hollow rare cards. So I don't know if that's a true thing. Like if I could confidently say, oh yeah, you could weigh packs and really know. I think what I might do is I do have... Um, more elite trainer boxes that I was able to get and I think maybe I'll do like one more test I'm sure people are gonna get mad at me for for showing off Wayne packs But I'm just so interested because honestly if I found that there's no way that you could truly weigh the champions path packs then I would just buy booster packs like I would just buy the the 36 booster packs online for $250 because that's going to be way cheaper than me to get 25 booster packs I'd have to buy at least three uh, no, 36 booster packs. I have to buy like almost four elite trainer boxes. And right now, elite trainer boxes are going for $80, $80, let's say. That would cost me around $320 when I could get potentially. Now, it would be a little bit less because that would be 40 packs. But anyways, you know what I mean. So like if there's a way to just buy the booster packs like that, it'd be way better. So I might do one more test on this whole weighing the packs because, I, again, I'm interested. And then we'll see um, what it kind of comes out to be. And then if I feel like that's not a real thing, then I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind just, just buying, just buying packs online like that, you know. I know you guys frown upon that, but who knows. Alright guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more boxing videos, go and check my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below, has anybody else done this and tried to weigh these packs? I thought the whole point of like this set and the other ones, like anything from Sun and Moon is that they have different colored code cards so that the packs all weigh the same. So I don't know about Champion's Path because technically you get a rare, a good card in a good card in every pack. Um, but yeah, does anyone else, has anyone else tested this or does anyone know of anybody else who's tested this on the internet that I can watch? Let me know down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout is going to go to Random Ryan. Random Ryan, you get the video shout. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support. Uh, Random Ryan was on that YouTuber I was telling you guys about in one of my previous videos that I've been watching, not every night, but every so often. He basically just does really long live streams every single night where he does booster breaks and opens up packs for people. You buy them. So I did my first one yesterday. I got um, three of the team up. Yeah, team up booster packs, and I was, I got, what did I get, like an incinerator, I think, um, hyper rare, which was really cool, so, um, yeah, Random Ryan, thank you so much for all the support, um, it was cool seeing you on there, and, uh, I want to give you the video shout out, so, shout out to you, Random Ryan, shout out to you, alright guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time, bye!